Stop using dikes! And here's why. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about wire ties and the right way to cut them. Uh, they're also called zip ties, some people call them cable ties. Uh, a lot of people cut them with pairs of dikes, and that is the wrong way to cut them, and I'm going to explain why. See, it leaves quite a bit exposed off of the ratchet area, and when you cut them with a pair of dikes, it sharpens the tip. And these zip ties are on everything, so as you're working on an engine, or wiring it's gonna leave sharp wire ties everywhere and that's why you want to cut them the right way what you want to use are a pair of flush cuts flush cuts will cut them so that there is no remainder of the zip tie on the ratchet portion and it makes it look a lot better you're not going to be cutting your arms up you're not going to be scratching anything if you cut them the right way now this is a pair of dikes. That's what most people use to cut them. That is wrong. Do not use dikes to cut them. You want to get yourself a pair of flush cuts like these, which are straight, or you have the right angle ones, the ones with the red handle down there. So everyone knows how to use these wire ties, and usually they'll just snip a portion off there at the end, and it leaves that little ridge, as you can see, by the ratchet portion. Uh, most people don't seem to care. In fact, we get them from the manufacturers that way. But what you want to do, if you're a true professional, is cut those portions off. There's no ridge, there's no sharp point left if you use a pair of flush cuts. It works on any size zip tie. They got the real wide half inch style ones. You got these real narrow like eighth inch style ones. And most people just snip them off like that. You don't want to do that. You want to use a pair of flush cuts. Hope you guys like the tip. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want. And check out my other videos. Thank you.